We were among the first to arrive, and for such events, you never know what to expect, so it's always better to get there early. It gives you enough time to meet the artists and their works without much distraction. First, we meet Tayo Olayode, one of the brains behind the project. He lets us into the reason for embarking on this journey. Ghana is about the closest um, in terms of um, language and cultural, um, uh, cultural similarity. We have similar cultures. And um, actually, I had the opportunity to come to Ghana through the Ford Foundation Scholarship and to work with Professor Abladi Glover. And ever since then, I've had the, um, the mind to bring more artists of my, my contemporaries down to Ghana to come and exhibit so that they can also feel the, the culture and tradition and we can always exchange ideas in terms of the art and the culture. And his sidekick, Amufa Osage, also tells us more. What we are doing in Nigeria is like a complete deviation for what they do here. And um, we decide to start this project. I mean, this project we are even doing now, it's not going to be, this is just the beginning. We have decided to start taking what we do from Nigeria to all over the world. It may even be Europe next year. You understand? But we, are, we, we decide to start with Ghana because uh, this place is closer to us. And myself and Tayo, I think we know our uh, our um, territory, we know our ground here. We've been here, this is my third time here. I've been coming. Tayo has been coming. And um, that's why we decided to start with Ghana. An artist's mind is restless, always looking for an avenue to express itself. And since they have chosen Accra, we tasked them on what they have brought for this community to see. We selected this group of artists because we believe in what they are doing. Every artist here, I strongly believe that they have a message. I believe that they are true artists, they are strong. That's why we decided to select, pick, call them to be part of this show. You, you understand what I'm trying to say? So I believe that um, every artist here, they have their own very strong message. And if you look at all the works, they are strong quality works. We brought some of our paintings, um, but that's not all that we brought for the... We also brought our styles and techniques to Ghana. If you see the artists on display, they are artists with different styles and techniques. It's not about culture, heritage or tradition. It's about style, technique, which is unique and synonymous to the artist. There are nine artists involved in this show titled Beyond Boundaries. The title itself tells you a lot about the power of the arts to connect with people despite location, race, religion or background. You see, my art has transformed from what it used to be. I know last year I, was, uh, I had a privilege to exhibit in New York. You know, in Amsterdam with me Art Gallery. And it was really a wonderful show. It's a wonderful exposure for me. The coverage was wonderful. And um, it, it gave me a lot of mileage. The kind of people, the kind of um, um, exposure I got, the kind of people that were interested in my work. You know, even right now, the gallery is putting a book together in my name. Wow. And it's, it's, uh, I don't think anything can be better than that. So I'm, I'm really having a great time in my career right now. And uh, again, you can see, I'm here in Ghana again. And uh, I'm just happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just happy. And, uh, and it's also reflected in the kind of work I'm doing now. Because um, I, I have seen that as the way the art is going, 
you know, and the way when we grow, as we grow, you know, your work also grow, you know, the maturity, the things you want to leave behind, because you see, this world we are in is not permanent, but you see, your work will definitely leave even when you are not there, so, you know, the kind of work I'm doing now is such that even years to come, I work that will, you know, will leave you know, with time, and because you see, a lot is even happening in our culture, in our in in our country, and you know, one needs to be able to speak and talk about these things, because so that even those that are coming behind can also learn from them what is happening. Because um, you know, like some of the works I have here on display, you know, it also talks about the situation of things in Nigeria today, the good, the bad. You know, I wouldn't say the ugly because I am hoping for the better because I know that our country is going to be wonderful. See, the kind of work I do here um, tend to go towards depicting our culture because uh, we are moving a kind of cross country now we are going into. We are moving from our border to the next border. So I intended to depict something that will reflect where I am coming from. They have come here not only to show that the Nigerian art scene is alive and strong, because from our interactions, it seems the Ghanaians already know that. But they wanted to show them what the young creative minds in Nigeria have been experimenting on in their little corners. Most of my works are always different from one another, because uh, I love experimenting. This is a reclining figure that are painted out of uh, motifs and uh, images and all sorts. It's also to make uh, my surface different. It's, it doesn't have any philosophical uh, thing. It's just a use of space and the creativity in me. I've been battling with this idea of the African language and um, communicating as an African with the African language. And I realized that most of the African, most of it that we could say is in our writings, inscriptions on the wall, motifs and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I was now looking for a way to be able to say so many things I would like to say, you know, without necessarily um, getting out of, uh, you know, uh, myself as it were, you know, and I yet be able to put everything down in a piece visually, you know, so those, those are the things that I have been doing, and, uh, and um, yeah, that's what brought me into this, and not necessarily trying to uh, go to the Vogue or something, but just trying to communicate and make my work, um, tell a little bit of, about uh, my, um, where I came from and um, uh, the time that I lived. And indeed, you didn't have to be from there to see and enjoy the variety these young men brought along with them. The technique or the, the style, the approach came from my observation of natural leaves, of a foliage of, of trees around me. And I actually, you know, see beauty in it. And my first research was to actually use leaves, the natural leaves, to be able to create images with, and with, retaining the color and texture the way they were. I really don't have an idea to go about this. I had to talk to my friends who are studying biochemistry or all these chemical um, sciences. They got me chemicals, they assisted me. I made some series of experiments. I did some works and it failed. So when it failed, I gave, up, I gave it up. So suddenly I was going to a National Geography book and I saw a flower, you know, shot from the down and it created a, a funny image and it came to me that if I could not achieve um, this painting or this research from the natural leaves, I can actually use leaves to create images. And that was as far back as 2006, you know, and I started and that was how it progressed to this state. I do most of my painting because I'm being influenced by children around me. So I enjoy 
being in the midst and a lot of 